Flutter 3.24 has released with some awesome new feature and amazing performance improvements. And one of my favorite is Carousel View because a lot of time we use Carousel inside our application and we have to rely on a third party component. So it's a great move by Flutter. So let's see how to use this widget. Here we have created an empty Flutter project with latest Flutter release 3.24. Let's wrap the text widget with columns so that we can add Carousel View component. It has two required properties, item extent and children. Item extent means the width of the single item inside Carousel. For now, let's keep it 200, and we will generate 10 items. We can quickly generate items with the help of list generate method, and it will give you the index for each item generated. For the sake of simplicity, let's just return an empty container for now. With very minimal code, your material design carousel will be ready. But I think we have an issue here. Our material app is const, and we are using dynamically generated content here, so we have to remove the const keyword from top level and assign to widgets which are really constant. But still nothing shows up, because there's an exception in the UI. If you know this error, you know how to fix it. For those who are not aware, Widgets like Carousel, List View, and Grid View requires height information, so we have to explicitly wrap the Carousel view inside a sized widget. Here I am using size box with 240 height. You can keep it as per the design. Cool. Now the UI exception is gone, we need to use Safe Area to properly see all the widgets. And to see the Carousel in action, I will simply turn the container to gray color. And here we have our Carousel view ready. Now let's make it more practical. Generally, Carousel is used for image slides, so let's add an image widget and fetch the data from Pixum Server. This gives random images with specified size. It's looking better, but remember we added hard-coded item extent. Let's fix that and make it dynamic with help of media query. And just so that we can see the next element also in Carousel, I will reduce the item extent by 32 pixel. You can tweak it as per your liking. And lastly, if you want your carousel items to snap and don't stop in between, you can mark item snapping to true. This already started looking great, but you know what? I am not liking the flat image slides, so maybe we can add some shadow by providing elevation property. Much better. But if you notice closely, shadows are getting clipped at the bottom. We can simply fix it by applying padding to this widget, and here we have the final output. Carousel View also have some other properties like shape, with which you can decide the shape obviously, and the controller property if you want to assign initial pages and add listeners. If you found this video informative, make sure to check out this amazing video on Dart Isolates, and if you are willing to learn some production tips, check out this video. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.